Welcome back to Robert's Den. This is a short video. I have to listen to Dr. Heavenly just spit all the beans on call on Carlos King podcast. Why? Because Cord was not a friend to her. According to what she said Cord did to her starting an argument with her and she was the only one on her side on her side so she also cleared it up exposing Cord as a fraud for saying she brought Phaedra on the show when in actuality she didn't she said Dr. Jackie saw Phaedra at Mona BravaCon and asked her what she was doing. And Phaedra says, I'm dating a doctor. And Dr. Jackie asked her, why don't you come and visit her sometime? They would love to have her on the show. Called hearing that, which is what a lot of people do when they take ideas from people. Or they go take something and run with it for themselves. Which a lot of people do that. So Cora went out and said, I know her. I know Phaedra. So she goes talk to Phaedra. But just because you heard a conversation and you say, I know Phaedra. Phaedra's at BravoCon. They weren't talking about Phaedra. Jackie wasn't talking about Phaedra dating a doctor. And Quar said, I know Phaedra. And go talk to Phaedra about being on the show? No. Phaedra was at BravaCon. Quad heard the conversation and said, I know Phaedra. So, what the Dr. Heavenly said happened? The door was, Phaedra was already at the door. They wanted her and they break rules and everything to get Phaedra on the show. And why did they do that? Dr. Heavily said they don't get any pubs from Real Housewives of Atlanta. And that's because we, including me and that, was only care only care to watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't want to be watching a thousand shows. I'm just gonna watch one. Now that Real Housewives of Atlanta has been ruined by taking the main characters off the show, first of all, Nene. Second of all, Portia left. I didn't really care too much for Cynthia. But Cynthia was the show. Um, they tried to get rid of Marlo. Won't let Marlo come out and shine. So they destroyed the dynamic of the show by not allowing the people to continue the show. We want to see the people that we've been seeing. Like, I didn't watch Married to Medicine. I, I've watched some clips and, 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 you know, a couple of shows that we want like that. However, they show it on the... Um, Whatever they're doing. I have watched it like that. So it's a pretty good show. But I don't want to get stuck to the show. Because I don't want to spend my time watching TV all day. There's, there's other stuff in the world to do. Like life. Other things you can do in life. Besides sitting and watching TV all day. So that's why I only watch one. But now the Real Housewives of Atlanta is a dud right now. And I start watching it when Nene left. It's Especially when Portia left because it just, it's annoying me how he went down. But Married to Medicine, they kept the formula. Even though they got rid of Mariah the way they did Nene, but Mariah, they had to bring Mariah back in or the show would have went away. It would have went sour like Real Housewives in Atlanta right now. Sour because they got, because you get rid of the two main people, Nene Leaks and, and Portia left. Because she did not want to continue to be attacked by Kenya Moore. Like you said, she got a, a billionaire husband now. She don't got put over that. But anyway, they wanted Phaedra on the show because she said they wanted to get, see, they can get some of that pub for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not that Phaedra's there. They're saying Phaedra's a dove, it's a flop, it's a that. It's less people watching it. 
than when last year before she was on. But you notice last year you had Dr. Contessa and her husband on. So when you got rid of Dr. Contessa to pay Thedra to come on, apparently Thedra people came over and Dr. Contessa and her husband people deals left, which to me kind of balance it out that they say it's left but it's not a half a, a half a million left like you did with me a whole million left with Nene Leach. I think a half a million left with Portia. And now Cynthia gone and and it, which is a lot didn't leave you still around the same thing or whatever. But the point is I think the show is okay with Phaedra on it. Why? Even though they don't think Phaedra coming in low-key. And I understand why she coming in the way she is. They put so much of shine and highlight on Phaedra coming. So much advertising on Phaedra coming, it was turning Phaedra into a nini. But what did Phaedra do? Phaedra smart business woman. I'm going to come in and I'm going to stay down here. I'm not going to come over here overshining these women. Because that would not put her in a good place. Phaedra smart business. Phaedra came in how she is. On kind of the low. And what she doing is building friendships with these people. Because she didn't get to build the friendships on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because you got people there that don't want to be friends with nobody. They want everybody to do what they said. They want to they be the head person on it. The, the last OG on it. Which and it's not good for the show. It's not good for it. It's like making Kool-Aid. The way we've been doing it for the last 50 years. And you decide that your Kool-Aid is going to have one thing missing from it. So we're going to take the red out of the Kool-Aid. Who's going to drink it? Well, what happened to the Kool-Aid? Well, you know, we take that red um, coloring out of it. You know, the red color, because back in the day, it was red Kool-Aid. They got all different color now. But this is just an example. You take the red out. Some people might still like it because it tastes good. But a lot of people not going to drink it. Because it's not the red that that they were used to and like. So that's how it is. Um, with Nini. They took the red out a real house out of real house lies of Atlanta Kool-Aid. And nobody wanna drink. Especially a million people that left with Nini. Half a million that left with Portia. And they just left with anywhere around five hundred to seven hundred thousand views after topping four million in their fourteen years or whatever. But Phaedra is smart. She's coming in and she is making friends with people. She ain't causing no waves. She making friends with these people. Like Dr. Helen said. I didn't know Phaedra. She said, but when Quad did what she did, throwing Phaedra under the bus by saying, well, Phaedra said this about you. Heavenly know better than that. Heavenly don't fall for that. And neither did Phaedra. And what did Heavenly say? Me and Phaedra got even closer after Quad did that. So... It's like something Jesse will say tonight when I watch her video. She said, reading, but this is not what she said, but along this line, <clears throat> reading is fundamental. Reading is fundamental. To me, listening is also fundamental because people say out their mouth what happened, what they mean, and people will purposely dismiss what you say dismiss the words by not reading it and say this is what happened and it's an actual fact and we people that read everything and listen very close to details very critical thinkers we just look like what are you talking about we don't understand what you see I, I can't even get my mind to even read between something and get the exact opposite of what the person is saying don't get that. But anyway, even though Phaedra, according to them, and if she didn't, didn't bring the pub, 
because it's less than it was last year. For what I understand, it's not even that much. Maybe about, about 40, 40,000. Out of hundreds of thousands. Even if Phaedra didn't bring the pub, people still want to see Phaedra on their TV. I'm watching Marital Medicine because I want to see Phaedra. Phaedra might not be bringing what a lot of um, critical people that are very critical of, of these um, rally stars are. I'm not critical. It's TV. It's not the people real life. But I like seeing Phaedra on TV. Therefore, I have switched my viewership to Married to Medicine. I will watch Married to Medicine. I can't just sit here and just watch it like I did Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I actually could. But I got stuff to do. And sitting here watching TV all to me all day is not to me it's not good brain function. To just sit here and just watch these stuff all day and just be consumed with it. What some people call highly invested. I'm not invested in none of this. It's a distraction from other stuff that might be going on around me and I need and I need some distraction. But anyway, that's my thoughts on this as to what Phaedra brings to narrative medicine. Phaedra brings, from my perspective, to marriage and medicine, what we wanted to is her. She brought herself there. And we want to see Phaedra. So she brought herself. She ain't brought the drama from Real Housewives of Atlanta. She ain't going out there outshining people because of all the work, all the um the highlights they put on her to get her there to you know to get people to watch the hype people up to watch the show. And then she came in low key. We just want to see favor. That is what I think a lot of viewers are. But see, I'm they got the over fifty club. Now I'm in the over 60 club. So, we want to watch the ones that made the show. What it is we want to watch. So what does Phaedra's boyfriend say? I don't want nothing to do with Mary the Medicine. And, and then I, uh, you go ahead on. Well, she came on in with a doubt him. Knew, she, she knew it was going to be an issue. Bravo knew it was going to be according to Dr. Heaven. They knew what's gonna be an issue with people. Well, she lost. She bring the man or daughter. Why she on that? She ain't. She ain't married to medicine. Neither is Quad. And the thing about what they say about Quad, Quad, they want to say Quad was the show. Married to medicine, but Quad was Quad was married to medicine. Her husband was the medicine. Just like Dr. Jackie the medicine. Just like um, um. What's the other one named? Simone the medicine. This like Toya is the actual marital medicine that is that's gonna stand. Because Quad couldn't stand. So she's marital medicine. Cause her husband is the medicine. And then you got Phaedra came on as dating medicine. But it doesn't matter. Because the Quad thinks she can be on there and get a check. Not married to medicine. The show that that the dynamics of the show will change. If you bring Quad on there, without Doctor G, whoever her her ex husband name, but Doctor G, her ex husband, he even though they say the men don't get paid, Doctor G still. What Doctor G did? Got married, and therefore he got married. He was the medicine on the show. He got married. Therefore. His wife, new wife, is married to medicine. Like Toya is married to medicine. Those two women are married to medicine. Therefore, now Toya got somebody she can connect with. She couldn't connect with Quad <coughs> because of the stuff that Quad do. So Toya is going to connect with what called Sweet Tea. And she's going to show Sweet Tea the ropes. Heavenly, 
both of them are doctors. She married in medicine and she medicine. So it is, it is what it is. This is what what I'm seeing from these eyes, what this show is about. But anyway. It, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. And I will see you next time. I don't do too many of these videos. But every once in a while I do one video like this. I mostly do the shorts. But anyway, if you like this video, thumbs it up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. It's another video. Bye.